He says, I'm all for protecting men when falsely accused, but this nigga right here, bruh, where do I begin? Anyone that knows how this nigga moves with Gal can tell you he moved too thirsty. Got a story about him in UK club with a girl, but shit, I'm not surprised. Hashtag no Philly. Like, people talk, guys. People talk. People watch you and people talk. They see what the deal is. Okay, and your reputation will catch up to you, good or bad. It's no bueno. It's not good, my brothers. It's not good. Okay, you think you're the man. You think you're smooth. But if you don't have the results, then you're not. So stop lying to yourself. That guy got girls majorly, majorly because he is famous and rich, period. Okay. Now, here, here's the deal. We're going to go to Fresh and Fit now because they, they covered this, okay? And Fresh had a real-life encounter with this guy. And they covered it two days ago on the Fresh and Fit podcast. But I just wanted to double down on this. And here's the deal right here. Who's offending Diddy? Nobody. But why is that, though? Could it be true? Well, let me give you my take on it. Then you're going to go because I know you got a lot to say. When I first saw this, I was like, mm, uh, famous guy. Mr. Silk Shirt himself has returned. Michael Amato says, booby trap on the river. Bro, trauma, bro. Traumatized. Traumatized. I was, I just, I specifically stayed there to be fresh. It was funny. Like, I was like, you know, it was, it was after the sh when I was wearing fresh, when I went to Fresh and Fit with the purple suit on. So I was in those two. And I remember like this giant like six foot tall white woman with red hair was like giving me the eye because i was the only guy in there that didn't look like he had a felony and i just remember like everything about that place i was just like no 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 god god i do not like strip clubs i do not I do not like them this place was wild people were smoking weed in there it was just like no rules whatsoever just wild place bro Miami. I successful has some money. Like this is bullshit, right? Like there's a high likelihood that it's a lie, but, um, but I don't know anymore. I, I really don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm going to assume innocent until proven guilty. Uh, you know, a lot more, uh, you shared some of those things with me, but you didn't, you didn't go into the full detail. Um, so I'll turn it over to you, man. Bring in my ex post. If you don't mind, uh, bills, your ex post. Somebody posted on X um, regarding this article for Drama Alert. And uh, I said, I'm all for protecting men when false accused, but this nigga right here, bro, where do I begin? Anyone that knows how this nigga moves with Gal can tell you he moved too thirsty. Got a story about him in the UK club yeah. with a girl, but sh I'm not surprised. Hashtag no Philly. Um, no Philly. <laughs> so listen, man, I don't hate it for Philly at all. I, I, think, I think he did well for himself and his career. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Yeah. Press calling if there's. Um, yeah, that's bad. Uh, guys, by the way, go, go to my uh, Twitter real quick. Oh, Myron says, if you went fresh calling you there's you know, it's bad. Oh, that's so funny. Because the way Myron and Fresh move with women is, is night and day, bro. Myron is like direct, upfront. This is what I want. Let's do it. Yes or no. Fresh is more like a smooth criminal. And follow me, man. Go support me. I'm almost at 20K uh, people. First CEO on network. Followers, bro. Shout out to you guys for supporting, bro. I'm going to tweet a lot more. Pretty much every day now, in response to people's posts. So go check it out. Um, yeah. But I went to the UK. Uh, of course, I'm still friends with Myron and Fresh. Why would I not be friends with them? Um, a couple months ago, we did the show grilling, me and Myron. And um, I was with a YouTuber as well. And Chopstar, shout out to them. We weren't there, there much right now. And we went to a club, a, a club in the UK. Now, I mentioned a story. I did not go to this club. Yeah, this yeah, is the yeah. story where Cheyenne got mad at me because I talked about her friend being big. It was that night. Really? Well, I was not going to call her name, but okay. Uh, yeah, All right. Let's think of that. All right. Anyhow, ah, so we went out. Tell to... the full story, nigga. Come on. No, but you calling names now. I, I don't want to call any names on purpose. So we right. are going to the club and uh, good time, good vibes. People are saying, yo, fresh. Good to see you, bro. Love your show. Showing love. And we're, so, we're we're like we're like five girls, a couple baddies. Were the other YouTubers there? Yes. Yeah. Who was who else was there? Bro, you, this, 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 
to tell a story. Yo. Would you ever do that show, Grillin? Honestly, probably not, bro. Like, the way, dude, because I'm in Tokyo, right? For me to go to these shows, they don't pay you. They don't do anything for you. And then, like, I thought, like, at least I'm a guest. Like, the, the people would treat me with respect there. Nope. Nope. Not correct. Like, I would just rather work on my brand than go over there. And, like, you know, I can't fly economy because it just kills my back. So it's like $3,000 round trip ticket. And then you got to pay for hotels. And then I can't stream. And then I got to like get somebody watch happy. And like, uh, it's, it's really got like, it's got to make real, real sense to me to do it. And I feel like if I go on that show grilling, they're just going to like, just try and talk shit and try to like get a gotcha moment. And like, you know, that's another thing. That's like conflict, the conflict thing. Like, I'm going to just go, if I go, I'm going to be nice to the girl. I'm going to try to like, you know, be a good example of how a man should talk to a woman on a date. If you want to be successful and they want you to fight, they want drama, they want conflict. And cause that's like low IQ, like monkey brain entertainment. Like this, everybody, it's like Jerry Springer. You have an whole audience of idiots just chimping out, act like a bunch of fools. You know, oh my God, what a burn. Oh, wow. Did he really say that? Oh my God, bro. No. Like, why? Why am I going to go somewhere, engage in conflict, and then have that conflict follow my brand? I just don't want to. I really don't want to do it. You know? So, there, I mean, there's just no, like, I'm not a dancing monkey. I, I don't want to do it. I want to help men transform their lives. That is what I want to do. I want to help men transform their lives. Nothing more, nothing less. Period. This is my life's work. This is my calling from God. This is what I have to do. Oh, yo, bro. <laughs> you just think of bro. They see, do not wrong. They're just there with you. They don't want to be involved, bro. They don't, they don't, all right. All right. This all, is right my... all right. All right. This is too fresh. The worst storyteller, bro. No, it's because I'm protecting their brand bro like okay all right, all right you just said earlier they don't want to be seen with us so why are you telling the people who they are you want this nigga bro well, i don't know if they were worried about yes, being seen worried be, but, oh, but, so they're normie that's people what I'm, too. I'm not saying their names okay all right, all right. anyhow so we go out with some youtubers man they're showing us love my bottles too i'm supporting as well mm -hmm. show trap star as well supporting and um there's some baddies at the table a couple baddies mm -hmm. you know i'm saying i'm gonna lie i didn't see any baddies in the streets but in the club there were some baddies in the uk yeah nonetheless we're there having a great time. The club is closing in like 30 minutes or so. Out of the blues guy pops up. I'm like, who's this nigga? Talking to the girls, touchy feely. I'm just like, did someone invite this nigga? Mind you, I don't know who he is. Oh, okay, you didn't know. Okay. I didn't know who he you didn't was. Know who he was at that time? Yeah. So then, um, the girl next to me that's also a YouTuber was like, yeah, well, that's so and so. He's a popular YouTuber here in the UK. Was, oh, okay, cool. Maybe he knows the girls, whatever. Mind you, he didn't know most of the girls there. He just knew one of them. That I was talking to, which is fine. And um, we're chilling, vibing, whatever. Remember, I said the club closed in like 30 minutes. He comes at a very end night at a club and he's there at the table. I'm like, who's this guy? Whatever. So then he's talking to most girls, girls at the table. And the one, the one I'm talking to, he takes particular interest into. So he's like talking to her, touching her, whatever. She's looking at me like, yo, like, what you trying to do? I'm like, listen, do your thing. Cause I'm not gonna, you know, force it, whatever. So then I'm talking to the YouTuber girl and she's like, yo, listen, like, I know she wants to go home with you. So I'm like, right, cause that was her friend, right? Yeah. So yeah. I'm, I'm going to talk to her because I can tell he's very, be a, be a very pushy, which hence is young Philly. The nigga's like thirsty, bro. Like when I say like only thirsty is like grabbing her, trying to pull her to the car, take away from her friend. This is like, no bueno. Okay. Rule number one of cold approach. Do not touch them at all. OK, you do not touch them, especially if you just meet them. OK, if they reach out and touch you, that's OK, because that is a body language sign of interest. But when you're doing cold approach, the only time you touch her is when you reach out. Say hi, I'm X, Y, Z. Nice to meet you. And then they let your hand go limp. And if she holds on to your hand for longer than like five seconds after you letting your hand go limp, there's some interest there. OK. And then you proceed accordingly. A little bit of small talk and then say, hey, what are you doing right now? You want to go grab a drink? 
go grab a coffee, grab a smoothie, whatever, whatever. She says, no, I'm busy. Well, hey, let me get your contact information. Boom, put it in your phone. Now you got a shot at the title. Move on. Pulling, grabbing, like, no, 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 no. Dude, women by default are afraid of men because we're bigger, we're stronger, we're faster than them, and they know it. So you can't be doing this kind of stuff, especially if you're a public figure. And I'm not saying you need to be celebrity. If you're a high level ranking person in your organization, you're a member, you're like a president of a club, you're like, you know, the CFO of your company, if you're like a high ranking position, you do this. People see you and people talk and people judge you. It is so bad for your brand, guys. It is bad. So this is terrible, terrible because now this happened. And guess what? Everybody's coming out and talking about it. 